If it is believed that these elementary schools will be better managed by the governor and council or any other general authority of the government, than by the parents within each ward, it is a belief against all experience. That idea should freely spread from one to another over the globe, for the moral and mutual instruction of man, and improvement of his condition, seems to have been peculiarly and benevolently designed by nature, when she made them, like fire, expansible over all space, without lessening their density in any point, and like the air in which we breathe, move, and have our physical being, incapable of confinement or exclusive appropriation. Inventions then cannot, in nature, be a subject of property. A wise and frugal government, which shall restrain men from injuring one another, which shall leave them otherwise free to regulate their own pursuits of industry and improvement, and shall not take from the mouth of labor the bread it has earned. This is the sum of good government, and this is necessary to close the circle of our felicities. New York, like London, seems to be a cloacina, toilet of all the depravities of human nature. The care of human life and happiness, and their destruction is the first and only legitimate object of a good government. The God who gave us life gave us liberty at the same time, the hand of force may destroy but cannot disjoin them. Whenever you do a thing, act as if all the world were watching. Were it left to me to decide whether we should have a government without newspapers or newspapers without a government, I should not hesitate a moment to prefer the latter. Our country is now taking so steady a course as to show by what road it will pass to destruction, to wit, by consolidation of power first, and then corruption, its necessary consequence. I'd prefer to have dangerous freedom, than have peaceful slavery. God grant that men of principle shall be our principal men. He repudiated the writings of the Apostle Paul, whom he considered the, first corrupter of the doctrines of Jesus.